Greetings and salutations. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I'm a personal trainer, motivational speaker, and modern day performing strongman. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, picture the legends of the past like the mighty Adam and Alexander Zass. They would perform feats of strength as part of a live show. I do a similar thing, but with a modern day twist. Some of the feats of strength that I've performed in front of a crowd live are things like bending steel bars, breaking chains with my chest, twisting horseshoes, driving nails and wooden boards by hand, rolling up frying pans, and even holding back a high performance motorcycle while taking off at full throttle. Now, being a modern day performing strongman and the fact that there's not a whole lot of us these days to answer people's questions, I started a YouTube series called Ask Eric Moss, where I would invite you to ask me a question. And when you do that, or by dropping, in it, by dropping the question in the comments below, and when you do that, I get back to you with your very own custom video. Pretty neat, right? So, today's question comes from Uriel Tobia. And they said, Chris, my name's not Chris, it's Eric, but I'll let that one slide. How can we adjust dynamic training with isometric training throughout the week? The Ultimate Isometric Book recommends that you can do six by six every day. What do you think? Thank you for asking me that. So the answer, as with most things when it comes to this stuff, is it depends. It depends on what your goals are. It depends on um, what your idea of dynamic training is, et cetera, et cetera. Now, for me, I do a mixture of dynamic training as well as isometrics. The dynamic training that I do is, for the most part, specific to the feats of strength that I perform. There are other things too, like I'll, I'll do uh, curls in the squat rack, which is like the cardinal sin, but the curls are done isometrically. The reason that I do that is because my elbows can sometimes irritate me um, when I do high repetitions or whatever with curls and also same with like tricep extensions too. So in an effort to get some direct biceps training in, without irritating the tendons because there's no, um, no, no abrasion when there's no movement involved. I'll do them there. Now, one of the things also when it comes to, like when I say it depends, it depends on the dose. Six by six can be a reasonable, that's like six seconds, six sets of six seconds. If I remember correctly, it's been a minute since I've read the Ultimate Isometric book. But that would also be done across a variety of exercises, at which point you would also change the range of motion or change, um, yeah, cha cha not range of motion, but change the, the joint angle that you're doing. Now with me, when I say I'm doing it specific to the feats, is I'll do a braced bend. That's basically when I take a steel bar that I can't bend and I'll push down on it as if I'm trying to bend it and I'll do that on both sides so that I can remain in balance. Now, one of the things when it comes to this stuff, oh, why can't I remember the name of it? Oh, the, the law of, there's something called a law of accommodation. And the law of accommodation is basically the more times that your, the organism is subjected to the same stimulus, the less that stimulus is going to be adapted to. It's basically like your body has said, whatever this is, it's not going to kill me, so I don't need to adapt to it anymore. That's if it's the same stimulus. Now, within the RKC and Strong First System of Strength, there's a saying, it needs to be the same but different. Law of specificity, but while being different. So, since with the Ultimate Isometric Book, in order to keep it different, that's when you would change the joint angle, either farther away or closer up. Um, with the feats of strength, 
like bending steel bars, it wouldn't be of value to me to change the joint angle because it's very specific to what I do. So in order to make it the same but different, here's what I do is I'll take a pair, a pair of dice. And it's actually a virtual pair of dice that I just use via an app because I lose things constantly. And I'll roll it, right? And the amount of spots that are on, or the amount of dots that are facing up is going to be how long I hold the contraction for, right? So if I roll pair, a pair of dice and there's 12, 12 uh, dots facing up, I'll hold that contraction for 12 seconds. If it's two dots facing up, I'll hold it for two seconds. Most of the time, it's going to be six, seven, or eight, which is a pretty good amount of time, right, for, for strength. And then I'll take a single pair of dice, and I'll roll it. And how many times that, how many uh, dots that is up, is going to determine how many rounds that I do. Um, and I'll do that for two separate exercises. It'll be the feet of strength, and it'll also be the curl. Now, where I put that in is... That's only two exercises, and that's like average of four minutes of training throughout the week because it's about a 20-second rest period. I'll also do bench presses. I'll also do vertical pulls, like chin-ups and that sort of thing. I'm also doing overhead pressing as well as half-kneeling overhead pressing with a kettlebell as well as dynamic clubbell work as well as squats, as well as deadlifts, as well as loaded carries. The, all of the, oh, as well as Turkish get-ups and swings. Each one of those things is treated as its own separate cycle to maximize the power, and the volume ends up being similar so that I don't develop imbalances. Um, so that's how... I balance dynamic training with isometric training is I just don't go crazy with the isometrics. I add it as a supplement into the dynamic training of my program and I treat everything like it's its own separate cycle. So Uriel Tobia, I hope that answers your question. If anybody else has any questions, drop it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you with your very own custom video. So if you like this video, let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more of this sort of thing or you want to see the chronicles from my various strongman performances, subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you think anybody else should see it, please share it with them. But in the meantime, please stay happy, healthy, and strong. Eric Moss, over and out.